What's up family, it's your girl Nicole Faye and welcome back to another Juicy Fat video. As you guys can see by the title, today we are talking about how to be a unstinky baddie or how to look and smell put together this summer, okay? I had asked you guys like give me like some content ideas to like talk about, like give me some, and you guys went off. Y'all guys, y'all gave me some great content ideas, okay? Everybody getting paid. <laughs> um, but somebody put in the comments and was like, let us know how to be an unstinky baddie this summer. I was like, oh, you just ate with that title, girl. Round of applause for the girl who gave that title, okay? I have a couple tips and tricks for you guys to smell good, look good, and be unstinky because that is a serious topic. So let's go ahead and get into the video. The first thing I like to do to stay fresh is shaving wax, okay? I talk about this tip all the time because it is the most important tip ever, okay? Like, it's too hot to be walking around a hairy monster, okay? Now, if you prefer to leave hair under your underarms and down there on your kudo mama, that is your choice. But if you are funky, and you wanna get rid of that problem, girl, shave and wax. You do that, that's gonna cut down 80% of the problem. Just trim it and cut it down. My next tip is your deodorants, like your antiperspirants and your whole body deodorants. Those are a must this summer. I did a, some research on a couple of deodorants that I highly recommend for you guys to check out. So the first one that I always love to tell people about that I use every single day is the Dove Spray Antiperspirant Deodorant. I love the Dove Spray Deodorant, like I use that all the time. But other ones that are really good too is this one from Target. It's called Central Dry Extra Strength Clinical. And then we have one from Target called Mitchell. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a woman's triple odor defense antiperspirant deodorant. Secret has a really good one. It's a clinical secret extra strength deodorant. And then Amazon has a really good one too. It's called Presperant. It's a strong antiperspirant roll-on deodorant. Those are definitely some antiperspirants that I recommend. And then whole body deodorants that I recommend for you to check out. It's definitely Lumi. You already know how much I love you, Lumi. Then we have Amazon has a secret whole body deodorant. Summer Eve has a really good odor protection deodorant spray. And then we have PHD. You know I love their feminine wash. They also have a boric acid body spray that's really good from Walmart. And then Dove also has a whole body deodorant too. So definitely putting that under your arms, in between your legs, under the boob. Yes, okay, all my double D, triple D, H, E, F, G, H, I, L, M, N, O, P. Girls, uh, we need to put some deodorant and under the under the boob. I don't know if my friend wants me to share this. I'm not gonna say who the friend is. I was on the phone with my friend the other day and she was like, oh my gosh, girl, something smells off and I don't know if it's me. And I was like, ooh, girl, is, is it the is, is it is it the Kuda Mama? She's like, no. She was like, it's under my boobs. I was like, oh my gosh. You, you forget about that you sweat tremendously under your boobs. Like when it's hot as outside, and especially if you have on a wired bra or an uncomfortable bra, that is like the first place you're going to sweat immediately. Then it's under the arms, that's how it feels. I feel like it's the boobs first under the arms, then it's the cooch. Okay, so making sure you're using whole body deodorant under your boobs, in between your legs, especially if you have on like tight fitted clothes or you have on something that's not really breathable. Girl, those two elements, waxing and shaving and putting on whole body deodorant are key essentials to smelling fresh this summer and being fresh all day. Like it's important. Okay, so tip number two is what to wear this summer and what not to wear. I can really speak on what not to wear because what you wanna wear this summer is your choice you know, that's your prerogative, but what not to wear is important, okay? Just how like I was just saying with tip number one, wearing uncomfortable bras, wire bras, wearing, you know, really, really tight in polyester, shapewear and things of that nature, it's gonna make you sweat, okay? I know it's easy for me to say, I am i don't really wear shapewear, but I know some women do, like they that is part of their everyday wearing is shapewear and stuff like that. So definitely if you're gonna wear shapewear this summer or you just need something just to suck everything up, I get it. Make sure it's cotton. Make sure like you're, you're going to a brand that really has like really good cotton like pieces. I know Skims is a really good one, Yeti. Amazon has some really good cotton shape up wears that you can wear that are really breathable. You just wanna make sure you're comfortable and you can breathe. Bralettes are your friends this summer, okay? I have on a bralette every single day, okay? I get mine from Skims, Target. I just bought a bunch of bralettes from Aerie. Oh my gosh, I love Aerie's underwear and their bras, baby, okay? I love getting their cotton thongs and their cotton bralettes amazing, okay? Aerie is definitely where it's at if you wanna shop for like good quality undergarment. Definitely staying away from just clothes this summer that are just uncomfortable, okay? Because when you're uncomfortable and things are too tight, 
that's when the sweat comes. If you live in a very, very hot climate, you shouldn't be, you, you already know better anyway, okay? So those are definitely things you should not wear. And then what we are wearing this summer is things that make you feel good, whatever that is, okay? I hate to really like get really strict on like what to wear because like I always wanna be open with people. Everybody's style is different. And to be honest, I'm the wrong person to ask like what to wear because baby, I wear this every day. Okay, if I can stand up for you guys, okay, t-shirt and some biker shorts, okay? This t-shirt I have on right now is from Skims and these biker shorts are from Aritzia, all right? Like, this is my everyday style. Now, am I recommending you to go in Aritzia and buy these $60 biker shorts? Absolutely not. Some good, really affordable biker shorts that I also like to just rack up on is some from Amazon, okay? Definitely wear what makes you feel comfortable and what makes you feel beautiful. As long as it's not tight and you look comfortable, girl, you should be good this summer. I wonder if cotton shapewear is even a thing. Is that even a thing? Somebody let me know in the comments if cotton shapewear is even a thing. I'm sorry if I recommended that and that's not even a real thing. Anyway, let's get into tip number three. Okay, exercising. Okay, I am a, another person who should not be giving out recommendations to exercise because I do not exercise every single day. I do my little Pilates here and there, but I love to go on walks. I am not the type of girl who is thrusting, you know, huge, huge weights, you know? No, that's not me, okay? I'm not the one who's doing squats and weights every single day, all right? I don't do the hardcore workout. I do the very soft, subtle, cute girl workout, which is Pilates and walking, okay? But I absolutely love walking in the morning. I try my best to do it every day, and if I don't do it every day, I try to do it like every other day, just getting up, walking. You know, it really does help my mental health. It really does slim you down really quickly. Like, you know, I like to run too, but running and walking kind of does the same thing. That is kind of like my secret on how I kind of stay like in my weight range that I want to be in. Okay, so tip number four is smelling good all day so you can be an unstinky baddie. All right, so. I love to layer my scents. I take layering my scents very, very strategic and very, very serious, okay? Because if you wanna smell good all day, it's important you layer your scents. But not only should you be layering your scents, but also you should be doubling up on your scents. So not just using one body spray for the whole day and then expecting that to last the entire day, okay? Use a body spray and a perfume. As long as they have the same notes in it or one or two of the same notes, you're good to go. So like, for example, you guys already know I'm a floral rose queen. I saw somebody in the comments when I asked you guys like what like content videos or content ideas should I do? Somebody wrote in the comments was like, give us some more like perfume scents that are not rose and floral. I'll think about it. Yeah, you guys already know, I love to smell like rose and flora. So I like to like double up on my perfume. So when I hop out the shower, whatever body wash that I use, I already know my signature scent, okay? And it's important for you to know your signature scent so you can layer things correctly. So like I said, I love rose and florals. So in the shower, my shower products are rose and florals, okay? So when I get out the shower, I go ahead and take my rose and florally body spray and spray that all over my body while I'm naked, okay? All over, okay? As soon as you get out the shower, while the skin is still damp, it absorbs the perfume way quicker. And then you go ahead and just put on your body lotion. Even though you might be thinking, wait, why are you putting on your body oils and your body oceans over the body spray? One second, stay with me, okay? So <laughs> once you get out the shower and you spray your body spray on, put on your body oils, and then you go in, get dressed, and go in with your perfume. So the perfume has to have the one or two or three notes that are just the same as the body spray so the smells won't be off but that's how you properly layer so after you put on your clothes and your body lotion you go ahead and spray on your perfume and make sure you spray it in your hair as well very lightly um, spray it in your hair but yes yeah, spray it all over spray it all on your pulse points trust me you're gonna smell like that all freaking day okay so that is my strategic like way on how I like to smell good all day every single day and it's really important because like I said it's really hot and it's the summertime so if you got on some really good smelling you got on your whole body deodorant you got on your antiperspirant deodorant under your arms and then you got on your perfumes you're good babe you are good and your comfortable clothes don't forget that you'll be good babe Okay, the next tip that I don't hear a lot of people talk about, especially black women, is tanning, okay? Please, don't state the obvious. I already know that I have melanin in my skin and I don't need to tan, but I love tanning, okay? 
I think it is like the perfect way to get you that glowy, bronzy, just very subtle look that is really hot and cute in the summer. I love to tan with the Jergens Instant Sun Deep Ultra Deep Bronze Tanning Mousse, the one from Target. I absolutely love this one, okay? I like to put it on the day before that I know I wanna be glowy. Leave it on overnight, okay? Cause I like to be dark, all right? And then when I get in the shower the next day and wash it off, I am like the like a bronze beautiful queen okay it is so pretty and i really love to tan too to really help with like strawberry legs and hyperpigmentation and things of that nature if you're really insecure about your back acne or just like your strawberry legs like on your legs tan girl trust me it's gonna blend in and go it's not gonna take the problem away but it's going to cure it for about a week or two next tip is makeup okay please do not beat me up for saying this but the full beats gotta go this summer, okay? They gotta go. Let me tell you something, okay? There are some great products out there to help your makeup last all day. Trust me, there are some great products out there, but nothing, nothing will ever beat the sun. Nothing will ever hold that makeup on a 100 degree, 90 degree weather day. Okay, I'm sorry, all right? <laughs> Don't tussle with me, bite your mother. You need to invest in tinted sunscreen moisturizers or tinted moisturizers or something like that or, or very, very light foundations. That is what you wear during the summer. Okay, I know I told you I can't be strict on what to wear, but I am gonna be strict on your makeup, okay? Because I have embarrassed myself before. It's 95 degrees outside and I have on a full face of makeup and my makeup is sweating. And you know, when it's hot and you get to sweating, your boobs, your underarms, and then your face start to sweat, okay? You don't wanna look ridiculous outside in very, very hot weather and you have on a full face of foundation. No! no. no. Okay, it's gonna melt. All the products in the world cannot beat 100 degree weather. All right, let's just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you live in Texas, you should not be wearing full coverage foundation, all right? My last video, I recommended you guys the Kosas BB Cream Tinted Moisturizer. My favorite, it's my everyday light moisturizer, tinted moisturizer that I love to wear. I mean, I even wear tinted moisturizers all year long. Like I am in love with tinted moisturizers. Some recommendations of some good tinted moisturizers, some good tinted sunscreens that I have for you guys is Fenty Skin has a new sunscreen. I think I just talked about this on the last video. Fenty Skin not only has a good skin tint, but they also have a tinted sunscreen as well that is really good. I love the Kosas sunscreen, tinted sunscreen, and also the Kosas BB Cream tinted moisturizer, my absolute favorite. Demessa Myricks has a really, really good tinted moisturizer called Yummy Summer Fridays. Pixie on the Glow has a good tinted moisturizer. Elf even have a good tinted moisturizer if you like drugstore makeup. Say Beauty has a really good tinted moisturizer as well that I really like. And then Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Balm Serum Boost Moisturizer. That's a really good one too. So definitely invest in your tinted moisturizers this summer if you want to stay fresh all day. Because let me tell you, once the face starts sweating, it's over with, okay? You gotta pack it up and go run in the house or you better have some stuff on you in your purse so you can pat up and freshen up in the bathroom because you're And to piggyback on the things that you need on you or in your purse just to maintain your freshness all day leads into my next tip, okay? I cannot walk out the house without these items in my purse because it is so good just to have that extra prep or that extra maintenance throughout the day, especially if you know you're gonna be outside all day and it's like scorching hot. So I can't leave the house without my mini whole body deodorants or my mini deodorants to always keep putting on deodorant throughout the day, especially if I start sweating, all right? Also invest in you some like mini travel, mini deodorant wipes that you can get from Target. Like they have the whole body wipes or like the mini deodorant wipes to wipe under your arms or under your boobs or anywhere that you start sweating just to keep you fresh, okay? Those are essential, all right? Next is my mini travel little perfumes. I always keep some like gum or like mini little mouthwashes on me or like some mint strips or something like that. Always keep a lip balm, lip glosses, extra pair of pads or tampons in your purse. Like that's a no brainer. I always like to carry like a mini sunscreen with me, like a mini sunscreen stick that I can reapply throughout the day because I don't know if you know this, but you should be like reapplying your sunscreen like two or three times a day. Didn't know that until a couple months ago. And then something else that I have been putting in my purse, which I don't have it in my purse all the time. And every time I don't have it in my purse, I always be like, damn, I forgot to put it in my purse. But it's a little miniature fan. Sometimes it's just way too hot, okay? Sometimes I see the girls outside walking around with a little miniature fan and they have like really cheap ones too that you can get from like Walmart, Target, 
Target or anywhere. So there should be absolutely no reason why you do not look good this summer, okay? I hope I give you guys some great tips and advice on just how to have the best summer glow up by smelling, looking, and being unstinky, okay? I love you guys so much. Definitely let me know in the comments, you guys, if you agree with any of these tips or if you have other tips that you do to help you be an unstinky baddie in the look and to smell good all day, okay? I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for all the advice you guys gave me on just like a bunch of content ideas that you guys recommended me for to do. So definitely stay tuned. I definitely have some tricks up my sleeve. So I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys next video. Bye family.